you about Iggy and Co and the history and how they got their start on Chicago Hair City? We had started back in 1973. Mm -hmm. It was my uncle and my dad who started it originally. After that came Osama's meeting, but we actually the first Egyptian hairline that hit Chicago back in the 70s, and we've been growing ever since. What influenced your career choice to be a hairstylist, and outside of that, what do you think about doing? Um, honestly, my dad had me working when I was like 16 doing child labor. Ever since then, I really I was stuck in it, and um, it's something that I always kind of had a passion for. Uh, once I went to school and got my paper for it, I started getting more into color, and that's something that I really started getting into more than anything else. We specialize in everything here, mainly we specialize in healthier hair. A lot of people don't realize that healthier hair means everything, not exactly what it looks like, but the health of it. Well, I know right now you have your new line. Can you tell me what inspired Sad Reserve? Um, Sad Reserve actually started when I had a client who came in, and uh, her hair was breaking off really bad, and um, she wears a lot of hats. So I designed this hat kind of with her in mind. I put a satin bonnet on the inside of the hat, hot glue gunned it, and I actually took it with me to Hong Kong, and that's where I got the hats actually made at. Everything that you see with satin reserve is all about quality, from the leather, the suede, everything that's used in it. Um, a lot of the colorways are based off of you know our trending colors today, rather it be Jordan brand or any other clothing line that you like. So uh, hair care is extremely important. Um, you don't want to just look good, you want it to feel good. And a lot of people don't realize um, your hair can look nice, but the feel and the texture of it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best. We're a natural hair salon that we specialize in all natural hair, so we try to keep the hair as healthy as possible without doing any extra things like chemical or any type of tension or anything like that. Where would you like to see Satin Reserve going within the next year to five years? Um, honestly, uh, I would like to see Satin Reserve kind of hit internationally. Um, I like to see it at a couple of hair shows, and not only hair shows, a couple of uh, agenda shows, a couple of fashion shows, um, and possibly taking it overseas and finding some companies overseas that would like to sponsor it, like to get that one out of the movement. It's really beneficial to everybody's hair texture, so it's going to be able to cater to not just women, it'll be able to cater to men, for men wearing dreads. Uh, a lot of people who have long hair have problems with just keeping their hair maintained and helps with hair maintenance as well. Tell me about some of the past events that Saturn Reserve had and as far as like um, some of your promotional work or promotional videos. Um, we actually we just shot a uh, promo video for Saturn Reserve, a um, video shot by Foreman James. Uh, it was also put together myself and uh, my wonderful marketing exec Ashley of uh, Paper Pushers. Um, we recently had an event at Nietzsche Art Gallery um, where we actually had the first um, launch party for it. Um, a lot of people came out. We had a couple people catering. Uh, a couple different Chicago celebrities came out. It was real nice. It was a nice turnout. And uh, it was mostly for brand awareness. And I just want people to get more in tune with the movement of what Sat Reserve is. And it's not just another hat line. It's literally something that takes care of your hair and it's going to give a whole new spin, a whole new meaning to the word, to the term hair fashion. So tell me exactly about the coordinates on your hat and the almighty coordinates line. I love this city. I'm from Chicago. I've always been a South Sider. And um, I just want people to know where it actually started from. You know, Yahiz is a, it's a stamp in Chicago. Everybody knows Yahiz from being a Chicago hair salon. And um, I just want the, I want the people to know exactly where it came from. Um, I love this city and I feel like if you can make it anywhere, you can make it in Chicago, you can get it. 